Footage has emerged of what appears to be a Russian armored vehicle firing at a cyclist in the town of Bucha. Key points, the ABC has verified that the footage was filmed in Bucha. The ABC has verified that the footage was filmed in Bucha. The ABC cannot verify when the incident happened. The ABC cannot verify when the incident happened. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russia of war crimes against civilians. Ukraine has accused Russia of war crimes during its occupation of the town to the northwest of the capital Kiev. The drone footage appears to show an armored vehicle, likely to be a BMD-2, marked with a white V on the side, firing at an individual on a bicycle. Russian military vehicles used during the conflict in Ukraine have been pictured with either a V or Z marked on them. The ABC has verified the location of the footage as being in Bucha, and there is no evidence that it has been edited other than to circle the cyclist. Additional footage seen by the ABC shows a corpse lying next to a bicycle in the location where it was fired upon. The ABC cannot verify when the video was taken. Evidence of what appears to be intentional ings of civilians in Bucha and other towns before Russian forces withdrew from the outskirts of Kiev has drawn condemnation. In an address to the UN Security Council on Tuesday, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said civilians in towns around Kiev had been tortured, shot in the back of the head, thrown down wells, blown up with grenades in their apartments and crushed to buy tanks while in cars. Ukrainian forces have discovered a number of bodies in Bucha's streets. Those who carried out the ings and those who gave the orders must be brought to justice immediately for war crimes in front of a tribunal similar to the one established at Nuremberg after World War II, he said. But we don't have a choice, the fate of our land and of our people is being decided, he said. We know what we are fighting for. And we will do everything to win. Russia has insisted its troops have committed no war crimes. Moscow's UN ambassador Vasily Nebenzia said not a single local person suffered from violence while Bucha was under Russian control. Reiterating Kremlin comments, he said scenes of bodies in the streets were a crude forgery staged by the Ukrainians. Associated Press journalists in Bucha counted dozens of corpses in civilian clothes and interviewed Ukrainians who told of witnessing atrocities. High-resolution satellite imagery from Maxa Technologies showed many of the bodies laid in the open for weeks while Russian forces were in the town. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said images from Bucha revealed not the random act of a rogue unit, but a deliberate campaign to, to torture, to rape, to commit atrocities. He said the reports of atrocities were more than credible. The chief prosecutor for the International Criminal Court at The Hague opened an investigation a month ago into possible war crimes in Ukraine. AP, ABC.